Ever wondered what happens if you drink red wine every day? It's a question that has intrigued many, especially with the growing popularity of wine culture and the frequent headlines touting its health benefits. Stay tuned, the last fact might surprise you. You might think you know all there is to know about red wine, but there's more to uncover. Many people enjoy a glass of red wine with dinner, citing potential health benefits. It's a common sight in restaurants and homes alike, where a glass of red wine accompanies a hearty meal. But is this a healthy habit or just wishful thinking? The idea that red wine can be beneficial to your health is appealing, but it's important to look at the evidence. Let's delve into the science and separate fact from fiction. Researchers have spent years studying the effects of red wine on the body, and their findings are both fascinating and complex. Red wine, derived from fermented grapes, has been a staple in many cultures for centuries. Its history is rich and varied, with each region adding its unique touch to the winemaking process. It's lauded for its rich flavor and potential health benefits, attributed to antioxidants like resveratrol. These antioxidants are believed to help protect your cells from damage and reduce inflammation. But before you start pouring yourself a daily dose, it's crucial to understand both the potential advantages and drawbacks. While moderate consumption might offer some benefits, excessive drinking can lead to serious health issues. One of the most talked about benefits of red wine is its potential to improve heart health. Studies suggest that moderate red wine consumption can increase levels of high-density lipoprotein, HDL cholesterol, often referred to as the good cholesterol. HDL cholesterol helps remove bad cholesterol from your bloodstream, which can lower your risk of heart disease. Additionally, the polyphenols in red wine, particularly resveratrol, may help protect the lining of blood vessels in your heart. However, it's important to balance this with a healthy lifestyle. Drinking red wine should not be seen as a substitute for regular exercise and a balanced diet. On the flip side, drinking too much red wine can have negative effects. Excessive alcohol consumption is linked to a range of health problems including liver disease, certain types of cancer and addiction. It's also worth noting that the benefits of red wine can vary from person to person. Factors such as genetics, overall health and lifestyle choices all play a role in how your body responds to alcohol. So, what's the takeaway? Moderation is key. Enjoying a glass of red wine with dinner can be a delightful experience and may offer some health benefits, but it's not a magic bullet. Cheers to your health, but remember to drink responsibly. The best approach is to enjoy red wine as part of a balanced and healthy lifestyle. So next time you pour yourself a glass, savor the flavor, appreciate the tradition, and toast to a balanced approach to health and well-being. Some studies suggest that moderate red wine consumption might have cognitive benefits. Resveratrol again takes center stage. It's believed to protect brain cells from damage and potentially reduce the risk of age-related cognitive decline. However, the research on red wine and brain health is still inconclusive. Some studies show a correlation between moderate red wine intake and a lower risk of dementia, while others show no significant Link. Further research is needed to determine the long-term effects of red wine on cognitive function. Beyond the heart and brain, red wine's effects extend to other areas of the body. Some studies suggest a link between moderate red wine consumption and improved gut health. The polyphenols in red wine might promote the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut, which can aid digestion and boost the immune system. However, it's crucial to note that excessive alcohol consumption, including red wine, can negatively impact gut health, potentially leading to inflammation and other digestive issues. Balance is key, weighing the pros and cons. While moderate red wine consumption might offer potential health benefits, it's essential to acknowledge the risks associated with alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol intake can lead to a myriad of health problems, including liver damage, heart disease, and an increased risk of certain cancers. Moreover, the calories in red wine can contribute to weight gain. While a glass of red wine with dinner might seem harmless, it's often seen as a way to unwind after a long day a small indulgence that pairs well with a delicious meal. It's crucial to factor in these calories when considering your overall diet and exercise regimen when a glass becomes too much. Many people enjoy this ritual, believing it to be a harmless pleasure. However, it's crucial to recognize the signs of excessive alcohol consumption. These signs can be subtle at first, such as needing more alcohol to achieve the same effect, or feeling irritable when you can't have a drink. Over time, these signs can become more pronounced and harder to ignore. If you find yourself relying on alcohol to cope with stress, it's a red flag. Stress is a part of life, and finding healthy ways to manage it is essential. Exercise, meditation, and talking to a friend or therapist can be effective alternatives to reaching for a glass of wine. Or if you experience withdrawal symptoms when you don't drink, such as anxiety, shakiness, or sweating, it's a sign that your body has become dependent on alcohol. This dependence can lead to serious health issues and should not be taken lightly. It's essential to seek professional help if you notice these signs. A healthcare provider can offer support and resources to help you reduce or eliminate your alcohol consumption. Counseling, support groups, and medical treatments are available to assist you on your journey to recovery. Remember, alcohol affects everyone differently. What might be a safe amount for one person could be too much for another. This variability is due to several factors that influence how alcohol is processed in the body. Factors like age, gender, genetics, and overall health can influence how your body processes alcohol. For instance, women generally metabolize alcohol differently than men, and older adults may be more sensitive to its effects. Enjoyed the video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel on Hustler for more health, wellness, and fitness content. Your path to peak vitality and fitness begins here.